can't handle the truth. How? Oh! Okay, uh, I am well aware that a lot of people have been using JTEC TV and the titles of their videos for a very, very long time. Um, some people started about four or five months ago. Um, I do find it funny that there are some individuals that have disabled their most popular video section on their YouTube channel to try to hide the fact that the only way they can get any views on their YouTube channel is by talking about other men. If you look at my most popular video on YouTube, it is talking about games. It's showing gameplay. Most of all my most popular videos on the first page, you can go check. Whether you try to disable your most popular section, anyone can still go on the internet, on your YouTube channel, and still go find your most popular videos. There's a section there. There's nothing you can do to try to hide it. Once again, go check. First page, nothing but gameplay. Second page, nothing but gameplay. That's what my channel's about. Your channels, most of your channels are about other men. Some people, they make their channels just about me. This is episode 7 of Exposing Xbox. We're not only going to expose Xbox in this video, we're going to expose other people and what they do. The only way that we can even know that these individuals exist is by the amount of videos they have made using my name in the title. And to these individuals that are currently watching in an attempt to give me a huge amount of dislikes, and I am talking about the individuals before I went up against the PC Master Race, I want everybody to also do a little bit of homework. If you don't want to do it, there will be a video with each and every PlayStation Legion podcast like to dislike ratio proving before I talked about PC Master Race I was getting a huge amount of dislikes a lot of people don't understand that I'm not disabling the likes and dislikes for a specific reason an epic video I'm planning where I can expose a group of individuals that have already exposed the fact that they watch my podcast. So, um, PlayStation Legion is getting a, a tad bit more popular. I did um, tell people for a long time, if you want to be a part of the PlayStation Legion, contact me on Twitter, send me a picture that you want me to make into a circle. I'll put that picture inside of the circle of the PlayStation Legion, and you can have a profile picture and a wallpaper. Free. Uh, so contact me on Twitter if you want to be a part of the PlayStation Legion. It seems to be pissing off individuals. Speaking of PlayStation Legion, this is the first topic of Exposing Xbox Episode 7. Um, blank accounts and why I have to deal with them the way I deal with them. If you're going to criticize me about gaming, y you know what? You can. You can just make a video. But don't come to my channel and litter the comment section of my videos with your bullshit if you don't have the proof in your channel you don't have the right to say jack shit to me on my channel so if you're gonna talk about your PC if you're gonna talk about the Xbox One Slim 4K all that dumb shit make sure you have an unboxing unlike Crap Gamer yes Crap Gamer has not posted an unboxing to the Xbox One Slim that he's been talking about for a very long time now um, you should have unboxings, gameplay, and a, of course a profile picture and a banner wouldn't help. You know, I mean, at least at least a couple subscribers. Like some people, look at this guy. This guy filled out the first, middle, and last name section on Google Plus, uh, due to the fact there's spaces in between his name. If you want to know if somebody's using a Google Plus, most of the time they have like their real name there, uh, literally. Like, there will be a first and last name section in a space. If they have a real verified YouTube username, you don't and cannot put spaces in between any of the characters. Um, so, a lot of people, and also, if you're using a name like Bags, B-A-G-S, um, well, we all know that name has been taken for a very, very, very long time. 
Um, they won't allow you to use that as an official YouTube username, but you can use that name as an official Google Plus name. Actually, your Google Plus name can be anything you want it to be. It can even ma be made to look like this. This guy is pretty stupid. He um, was on one of my podcasts this weekend. He's using my old uh, profile picture because my new one over here has the Sims 4 character that I created with a white shirt with the Dragon Ball Z characters on it. This guy is wearing the black shirt with Inunasha on it. And my old uh, circle. So, yeah. Long time stalker right there. Um, this guy right here was, this one was pretty funny. I think he made over four, um, accounts during the long ass podcast. He made them. And then he uploaded iPhone videos to those accounts threatening me. And it was just hilarious. I thought it was just the weirdest thing that ever happened, but it was crazy. He's also confirmed that he is Crap Gamer's number one fan, but it is just really, really funny. I, uh, prime example right here, uh, this guy, blank account, once again verified, he made it during the live stream that I had, uh, going on for a long time, that long one where I fell asleep, woke up, and then fell asleep, and then when I woke up, I was like, fuck, it's time to cut this shit off, and then I cut it off, um, he used my name in the title of one of his videos, he does not have 14 subscribers, he doesn't have any, but because he used my name in the title of his videos, he got views. When he made this account, I really wanted to go at it. Because this was one of the first ones. You can see what he said right there. I wasn't pissed off about that. I just wanted to find proof. Now, seven minutes after he made the video, it got 12 views. And he used my name in it. Once again, he posted this video... And I found out about this account eight hours after he posted it. And I took a screenshot. It was at 14 views. Seven minutes, 12 views to a blank account. No subscribers. Using my name, it does wonders. Also does wonders for people that do have a good amount of subscribers. But nobody knows who they are. Same guy. Another account. Look what he did right there. But look what he did right there. See, he didn't use JTEC TV. What he used was a variation of the name, and he didn't get a good amount of views for it. This video got more views than this video. But he probably used my name in the tags. But I thought it was funny. He made multiple accounts. This is another one of his accounts. Um, so once again, this guy used the variation of the name. Within 13 hours, he couldn't even get over 10 views because he didn't use JTEC TV. If he would have used JTEC TV, he would have got more views than that. I'm not sure if I'm proving my point, but you can do your homework. Go see how many bottom feeders are using JTEC TV to get views on their dying and dusty channels. Let's see. Oh, by the way, anybody who wants to make a video about me, uh, if you think that I'm making videos about other guys using a name in the titles of my video to get views, you can go to my most popular YouTube section. I think I should have a link there. Um, and you will see my most popular videos, page 1, 2, and 3, have a lot to do with gameplay. This one was really funny. Xbox 4K was an Xbox fanboy. Um, he had the dignity to put Xbox right there as his profile picture, but it's still a troll account. No banner, no subscribers, and no content. First and last name setup. Xbox first name space 4K last name. When you make a Google Plus account, you can put your first and last name whichever way you want it to look um, you can also have one name selected of a word that everybody knows doesn't mean you um, so I just want everybody to know if a lot of people here on YouTube don't know the difference between a verified YouTube username 
a YouTube user account uh, and a Google Plus account that is on YouTube posting videos there's a big difference um, having a verified YouTube username and a URL will help your chances of getting more views getting more recognized and if somebody searches your name your stuff pops up your account pops up um, you can see by this guy's setup it's a troll account and he's using a Google Plus to make this account because he didn't get the opportunity to make a user name you can't make a username until after you get 100 subscribers that's something they've recently put in the days of YouTube where I came from you didn't have to wait that long uh, JTAC TV was created in 2011 before all these type of rules were put in place so if you want to find this guy the only way you will be able to find him is by using his full fucked up URL that they gave him which is just random letters and numbers lowercase and uppercase so this person is named a rapist um, long time troll he popped up into the podcast and this is this is also weird because um, the merger between YouTube and Google was weird um, if somebody gets blocked on YouTube on their YouTube account they can still comment to the same video using their Google Plus account if they get blocked on both the YouTube and Google Plus account they can still leave um, post on your live stream you have to block someone three times on YouTube they are never gonna fix it and it doesn't really matter but that's just the way this person was blocked because of the name that I think a lot of people might feel uncomfortable about um, and then it was verified troll you know verified troll still hasn't did anything with the account I knew about this person for like uh, maybe a couple months ago um, but yeah he commented on the podcast that I created for the trolls this weekend, and they all came there, and he was one of them. Um, he never came to my podcast before, but he was trolling, and yeah, that's how it was. So, um, uh, there was a couple Xbox fans and PC fans that are saying uh, it's unfair for the PS4 to have exclusives. I'm working on a video about that. Um, they say that PS4 shouldn't have exclusives. They don't deserve to have exclusives. The PS4 exclusives should be on every other platform. Uh, then there was a couple Xbox fans that went as far to say that No Man's Sky is definitely coming to the Xbox One because it's a multi-platform system because it's on PC. And they said that Sony had nothing to do. This is a quote from Xbox fanboys as well as PC fanboys which say, and I quote, uh, No Man's Sky is a multi-plat and will... It has a uh, you know sorry they said no man's sky is a multi-plat and it has a possibility to come to xbox um if you guys don't remember hello games the developers that made no man's sky uh their studio got flooded sony was there to lend a hand microsoft was not so sony helped them with that stuff and they helped with the publishing as far as consoles is concerned so they did publish it um also they do have the right to flag down any videos that's showing gameplay before they gave us the brand new patch that they gave before the game goes live this midnight so they ha they're well in their right to do so because it's their content and they can do it uh, so there has been a couple of No Man's Sky videos that were posted uh, that have been taken down by Sony because Sony is not even giving out the review copies of No Man's Sky until after the day one patch which we just got late yesterday night on Sunday is up so they want to make sure that everybody plays the best version of the game uh, and I just want to say right now that if you see any reviewers shitting on No Man's Sky claiming that they beat the game after the No Man uh, sorry after the day one patch I was about to say No Man patch after the day one patch uh, that's a fucking lie. We know how long No Man's Sky is. Some people rumored um, when they were playing it before the patch, it was between 18 and 30 hours. But there was a, a little trick that you could use to get to the middle of the galaxy early. You can't use that trick anymore after the day one patch. And anybody that was playing it before the day one patch, all of their progress has been wiped clear. So they have to start it over again. Um, so just wanted to point all of that out. You're looking at what I'm looking at. I'm being 100% honest with you, Sony does, they did 
and have published No Man's Sky for the consoles. So if you want No Man's Sky to come to the Xbox One or the Wii U or NX, you really should take it up with Sony. I have no control over what game goes to what platform. That's them. So instead of bitching at me in the comment section and believing dislikes is going to make a game go to your fucking platform of choice, you really should be talking to the people that create these games and make these games and fund these games, not me. <laughs> I can't do anything. Okay, let's get started. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn once again. Look at this guy. Hashtag Horizon Zero Dawn is not coming to Xbox. Why? Biggest tragedy of the year. Bad move developers. You just lost a would-be fan. No one's telling you not to buy the game. But as an adult, a grown-ass man from the profile picture we're seeing right there, you should understand that no one is forcing you not to play or enjoy the game. You should understand that you need specific platforms to play specific games. I would have thought, compared to focusing their energy on me, the PC Master Race, they should focus their energy on Microsoft, asking why Microsoft has not already ported Halo 5 to the PC. That literally is the last game to get any type of confirmation that it is going to be playable on the PC this year. But you're focusing your attention on me and my dislikes that will not change the status of any of, any of these. Any of these Sony first party PS4 exclusives. Nothing you do to my channel, no amount of fake accounts you use to litter the comment section with your bullshit comments is going to change the fact that Horizon Zero Dawn is not only not going, never going to go to the Xbox One. It's never going to appear on a PC either. Next comment. Um, I love you at Xbox. I really do. But I have to say that at PlayStation 1 E3 this year, way more original games. Hashtag Horizon Zero Dawn. Hashtag Days Gone. Not exposing this guy, have nothing against this guy. Using this comment as example, he understands. He understands that there are some platforms that have exclusives and they deserve the respect. Um, and he understands it. He's mature enough to understand it. He knows that he has to get a platform to play certain exclusives. I mean, you guys... PC Master Race, you're sticking up for Xbox fanboys, and then I got Xbox fanboys sticking up for PC Master Race, but what about all those PC exclusives you guys like to list in the comment section of my videos that are never going to go to the Xbox One? What about Halo 5? Not on PC yet. Once again, you can contact these developers and companies. Their phone numbers are publicly available for all of us. They have Twitters, they have Instagram, some of them have Snapchats. Once again, I'm not holding a gun to any of your heads telling you not to contact these guys. I just want you to be realistic when it comes to the PS4 exclusive side of things that Sony is going to stand fast and not put these games on the Xbox One. They're not going to put these games on the PC. Never has it happened and it won't. Once again... You have a problem with PS4 exclusives, but you're not saying anything about Wii U exclusives. When the NX comes out, Nintendo, more than Sony, understands the importance of exclusives and having something different from someone else so your product can sell. They do it all the time with the, the Wiimote, which was different from the standard controllers that the Xbox and the PlayStation gamers were playing on. Uh, the Wii U touchpad controller that they brought out this this generation. They understand that being different can really, really help you sometimes. In their case, it can really hurt them sometimes. Let's, let's get to this one. Hashtag Horizon Zero Dawn makes me want a PS4. Hashtag, yeah, I said it. But please, come to Xbox. You know, I mean, he wants to be convenient. He doesn't want to spend money on a PS4 
to play the game that he finds interest in. But that's what we call a system seller. Because the longer and longer things draw out, you start to really understand. These guys really understand that, oh my god, this game's not going to come to my platform of choice. I have to get the system. Do I know the statistics of how many of these guys break down and get a PS4? No. When I talked to an individual that had a PS3 that wanted his Japanese RPGs to go to a PS3 that were only on a PS4, and without me asking him, without any type of involvement in his decision, on his own, he made the decision to get a PS4 to play the games he really were he was interested in. So, once again, give it time. These guys will go buy a PS4. Because they do need to in order to play these exclusives. Because these exclusives have no chance in going to the Xbox, Wii U, NX, or even PC. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. So you get nothing. You lose. Guess what? <laughs>